hi guys today we discuss about the phylum rotifera characteristics of phylum rotifera the rotiferous rotifers derive their name from characteristics a little organ called coronia corona is present around lobes on the head the seal of the corona do not beat simultaneously rather each each cilium beat early than the next cilium a wave of beating cilia appears it passes around the periphery of the ciliating lobes it gives the impression of a pair of spinning wheels that is why the rotifers were earlier called V and Mus. Rotifers are small animals they are abundant in most freshwater habitat a few species are marine there are 2000 species of rotifera they are divided into three classes. The body has a thousand cells. The organs are utilic. Rotifers are slightly free swimming animals. Some are colonial. Others cut between organs of sand. They are triploblastic, bilateral, unsegmented, pseudocolumnate. They have complete digestive system with specialized organ. Anterior and has a ciliated organ called a corona. Posterior and has toys and toys and adhesive glands. While the valve cuticle is present, proton aphidia with flame cells are also present. Males are reduced in number or absent, therefore, parthenogenesis is common in them. And their external features are cuticle. A cuticle covers only for the external surface. In many species, the cuticle thickness thickens to form lorica. Lorica is case that covers the body the cuticle or lorica provides protection the fluid in the serial column provide hydrostatic spore but cuticle is the main sporty element epidermis the epidermis is a sensitia sensitia in this case plasma membranes are present between the nuclei the head contains the corona mouth sensory organs and brains the corona Corona surrounds the buccal field. Buccal field is a large ciliated area trunk. The trunk is the largest part of the rotifer. It is elongated and sac like. The anus occurs dorsally on the posterior end of the trunk. Foot. The posterior narrow portion of rotifers is called foot. The terminal portion of the foot bears one or two toys. At the base of the foot are many parallel glands. Deer ducts open on the toes. The foot is attached to substratum with the secretions of these glands. Feeding and the digestive system of rotifers. Most rotifers feed on small microorganisms and suspended organic material. The coronal cell create a current of water. This current brings food particles into the mouth. Digestive system is composed of pharynx pharynx contains a structure called a mastex means jaws the mastex is a muscular organ it greens food the inner walls of the mastex contain several sets of jaws called trophy the trophy have different structures the other part of the digestive system is stomach food processed from the mastagus into a salivated esophagus it then enters into the salivated stomach slavery and digestive glands separate digestive enzymes into the pharynx and stomach digestion. Stomach digestion is extracellular and absorption of food takes place in the stomach, intestine, and cloacal bladder. In some species, salivated intestine form cloacal bladder. It receives water from the photonephridia and eggs from the ovaries. It also receives digestive waste. The cloacal bladder opens to the outside by anus. Anus is present in the junction of foot and trunk. Other organ systems. All visceral, all visceral organs lie in a pseudoculum. Pseudoculum is a field with fluid and interconnecting in white cells. Protonephridia opens into cloacal bladder. The functions of Proto-nephridia is osmoregulation, rotifers exchange gases and remove natural genius waste through body surface. The nervous system is composed of two lateral nerves and a bilobed brain. Brain is present on the dorsal surface of the mastagus. You know what mastagus?